to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your continuing support. I appreciate much. God bless you. But if you're new here, you are welcome. Please, before you leave this channel, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. People in the diaspora, today is your day. Oh. <laughs> you have to answer your brothers and sisters back home in Africa. <laughs> Guys, today's video is a requested video and the person who requested this video or the subscriber who asked this question is living in Africa and she wanted me to do this video which is a question by the way this question goes as why is that all people living in the diaspora cannot help you who is living in Africa to go to Europe live with them for more than a month so I'm going to give you an example so that you can understand very well what I am trying to talk about. You are living in Europe and you have a friend who lives in Africa, but this friend wants to come to Europe so that she can study for three, six months or a year, or she wants to come to Europe so that she can look for a job, but she wants to stay with you who is living in Europe because you are her friend or you are his friend. <laughs> Why is that? Most of people in the diaspora tell you I can help you only for a month to stay with me, not more than that. What is the reason? She wanted to know that. And she told me, is it because life is so expensive in Europe? People are living on a very tight budget and you YouTubers, including me, <laughs> comes on YouTube, makes Europe life looks very luxurious and very easy whereby you live on a tight budget, life is so difficult, so you are living a fake life on camera? Or is it that it is the laws of a certain country in Europe whereby you cannot stay with someone from Africa? Or is it that because you are there already in Europe, <laughs> in a heaven, <laughs> which is Europe, and you don't care, people who are living in Africa. So you don't give a damn shit <laughs> and you don't wanna help. Is it that? What is the reason behind that? Why is that you cannot help your friend who is in Africa to come to Europe, look for a job or study for three, six, one year period of time with your family? She wants some answers. <laughs> that will be our video of today, guys. And what I did, I wanted to give my own opinion, but I said, no, I cannot do this alone. I have to ask some other people in the diaspora. So I asked different people from seven different countries in the diaspora, and they gave me their opinion. So I took their opinions and mine and combined them together, which made me be very ready to do this video for you. So without wasting much of your time, let us start this video right now. <laughs> so friends, I'm going to be discussing with you two different categories of people living in the diaspora. The first category is the rich class and the second category is the middle class, <laughs> which means that this family is a very normal one Maybe it's only the husband that works, a wife stays at home, or both of them goes to work so that they can pay their monthly bills. Very normal family, guys. Nothing luxurious, only normal life. So I'm going to be giving you the reasons to why this family will start with the normal one, the normal family, cannot invite you to Europe and stay with them more than a month. Reason number one to why most people in the diaspora cannot invite you, live with them more than a month <laughs> in their houses <laughs> is that first of all guys, if you are applying for a student visa, there is a certain documents, requirements the embassy will need, which includes 
not all of them I'm going to mention but I'm going to mention those ones which have a close relation <laughs> to your friend that you want to stay with in that country in the diaspora they'll have to ask you to pay for your health insurance so for that period of time that you will be in that country studying they also have to ask you the accommodation proof of where you are going to stay so here i imagine <laughs> you think i'll ask my friend to stay with her so in that case it means your friend will have to send the invitation documents which will need your friend to show her bank statement which will need your friend to pay for your health insurance and <laughs> example maybe your friend is not working she's just a stay-at-home mom she does not work it's only the husband that works it's going to be very hard for the husband of your friend to give his bank statement out to the embassy to pay for your health insurance <laughs> and when you reach here you'll have to pay also for a resident permit it means the husband of your friend will have also to pay for the resident permit <laughs> For you, who is just a friend, this husband does not even know you or even if he knows you, you are not his friend, <laughs> you are a friend of his wife, so he won't be able to take that sacrifice. He is not going to be able to take that sacrifice because you are just a friend. You know, money is involved here. He cannot just spend money just like that. Again, also, let us imagine that she's married, but she is working. Guys, something you need to know, most of us who are living in the diaspora, married, it means if there is some income that is coming in, that income should be used for your family. So even if you want to help your friend, you have to involve your husband. So here comes a problem. Your husband might not understand. <laughs> so I'm telling you who wants to come here in Europe to work. Number one reason is that the husband might not understand due to that this friend of yours is a married person or maybe the wife. Let's take an example. It's a black man and a white woman is the same guys this white woman might not understand the whole thing of helping a friend for us africans example we understand the whole culture of helping each other no matter what but even if it is a friend you're going to take that friend as your own sister as your own brother but when it comes to example mixed couples <laughs> it's going to be very very hard for that man or woman who is a white woman or a white man to understand the whole thing of helping a friend. That is number one, guys. Reason number two to why people in the diaspora cannot invite you stay with them more than a month is that, guys, life in Europe is tough and expensive compared to back home in Africa. I'm not saying that back home in Africa people don't pay bills life is very easy no but compared to the life here guys things are expensive we pay for everything everything guys everything there is nothing that we use that we don't pay but compared to back home example you might be living in the village and you have a friend living in the city so you want to go study in the city this friend will help you stay with her even a year but the difference comes here with Europe. You can be there at your friend's place, call back home in the village, ask them send you food. Cause there is farms, gardens, whereby there is food, lot of food. So they'll be sending you food. Not only that guys, sometimes you know us as black people we have this culture <laughs> whereby if someone is helping you so if this person sleeps sleeps without eating and she's helping you you will accept and sleep without eating because she did not eat too <laughs> important she helps you <laughs> but here you cannot do that 
because if the government comes to know you are living with a person and this person is not even eating well you're not treating well this person you will be in trouble in trouble guys <laughs> not only that guys another thing is that I take an example this family which lives in Europe makes grocery shopping of 300 euros per month so if you come to live with them for those six months it means the budget is going to increase if it is 150 euros it means that it is going to be 450 euros per month grocery shopping Re remember this family is living on a budget sometimes a very tight budget so adding more 150 euros just for your food is going to be very hard for them it will be a burden i tell you white men or people who live in europe because it's the culture they don't like to be a burden and they don't want someone to give them a burden i can give you an example one time we were invited at my sister-in-law's place <laughs> we went there but we also wanted to do some uh, tourist uh, activities so we are there at her place but my husband could not allow me use the things that may be there in a fridge no but sometimes the sister could insist no take take but most of the times my husband could refuse make sure that he buys some things to add on <laughs> to what is in the fridge so that we cannot be a burden to this family it's not that this family is poor no they're not poor they are well off but they don't like to be a burden and they don't want to give someone a burden they don't want to take someone's burden for this family to add 150 euros to their grocery shopping every month it is a burden that is why this friend cannot stay with you for more than a month she will take care of you for that one month but more than a month she can't that is one another thing is that here we pay gas you see the gas we used to cook and make videos here on youtube that gas guys will never go away <laughs> you will never be cooking and then the gas ends and then the gas finishes that one will never happen the gas is always there but at the end of the month you will have to pay by force <laughs> compared to back home in africa you can buy your gas for 15 euros and cook when it finishes you just go and use firewood or charcoal but this normal family which is living here in europe or in the diaspora they live in a rent house whereby they can't just use firewood to cook and dirty the house they can't just use charcoal and smell the whole house there are some rules of every apartment you living with them <laughs> using the gas it means that the bills will increase we use the gas for cooking for making the house hot during winter periods <laughs> use it for hot water <laughs> when we shower so as you shower the gas goes as you cook <laughs> the gas goes making the house hot it goes and i'm saying this will be like but we live in the same house if i use you use two where does this gas increase it increases example maybe we go out for dinner me and my husband or your friend and the husband that you want to stay with it means that you will stay at home you will shower <laughs> you will cook you will make the house warm because you can't stay in cold if it is winter period and for us if you're going out and it is in winter period it means that we are going to close the gas so that it cannot just go running just like that so it means that you are at home and the bills are increasing <laughs> there is electricity <laughs> we pay for it so let's talk of the trash we pay for the trash guys i know in africa also in big cities they pay for trash <laughs> but here it's too much you will not imagine the bill of a year and they count people living in that house <laughs> so the bill will come as you live if it is two people it means that this bill of the trash will be for two people so if you increase it means that the trash is increases <laughs> and the bill increases so it is paying 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 guys 
and for a normal family that budgets for everything it is a burden guys i'm sorry to say this but it is a burden they won't be able to take it people will help you here in europe but a very small favor like that one of staying with you for a month because it's not too much and even if this person that has accepted to stay with you for a month is really really generous i tell you life isn't easy it's not easy guys you will say that why is that we see you are always glowing <laughs> glamorous looking good going to vacation guys some things that we do are just european culture for example here in europe every summer people must go on a vacation even if it is two days three days they must go on a vacation is their culture it doesn't mean that this family has gone on a vacation then they are rich they go on a vacation to release stress and, and enjoy a little bit so back home in africa we are not used to go to vacation so when you see this you will think that maybe this family is rich they are living a luxurious life or you might see me with a gucci bag and ask me for money or maybe you ask me to invite you and i say no you say why is that this girl has got a gucci bag a louis vuitton bag but she cannot invite me then she's faking life that bag must be very fake <laughs> it's not like that guys the thing is people have money that is enough for only their family me my husband and my baby not more to help someone else that is how it is it's not that people are faking lives or what no or you might see people dressing well going to restaurants very expensive restaurants the money they have guys it's not that they are rich it is enough for the family i want you to understand this because here the culture is your family first not your sister not your brother not your mother not your friend your family first so it means that the money you have you budget it for your family you will go to the restaurant you will go travel <laughs> for vacation you'll buy your gucci bag <laughs> you know but it cannot exceed that to help someone else to help you stay with them for more than a year it means this family should not go to the restaurant so that they can help you because the money for going to the restaurant then should pay your groceries then should pay the gas bills which is very difficult for only a friend to do that for you so i want you to understand this everything here you pay it is bills 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 people go to work and at the end of the month it is to pay 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 <laughs> to why most people in the diaspora will not invite you to stay with them for more than a month we are still talking of a normal family guys where they live in a rent apartment this family has got example three rooms to sleep and they have kids where do you expect these kids to sleep you tell me i will sleep with the kids for africa it is okay but here in europe every kid should sleep in his own room and if it is not like that if, if they are going to sleep in one room then there should be two beds that is the standard of living as human beings <laughs> or you tell me my friend is going to sleep with these kids which friend will do that for you guys which friend can do that sleep with kids for six months or a year that friend does not exist or you tell me i'll sleep in a couch in africa it is okay but in europe example you cannot sleep in a coach for the whole year guys you need to live as a human being <laughs> have your own room have your own space but this family does not have that space it means you are invading their privacy they have one bathroom <laughs> it means this couple 
should cover themselves all the time in the house when they go to shower when they go out of the shower cover themselves so that you cannot see them guys there is no privacy there how are they going to make love <laughs> it's a small apartment <laughs> guys privacy is another big big issue whereby someone cannot stay with you more than a month a month yes someone can just resist <laughs> and or try some way out for a month but more than that that is too much and and guys if your friend is married to a white person and they are living a very normal life forget about staying with her for three months or six months it won't be possible white men really takes this very important privacy is so so important to them they don't want to be disturbed by anyone they want their own space they want their own privacy <laughs> i remember one story whereby there are two girls living here in europe <laughs> they started their friendship and when the friendship went a little bit far this other girl was inviting the other girl to meet as family you know their husbands to meet but this girl told her that no our family wants to stay alone we want our own privacy we want our own protecting your own space protecting your own peace they don't want anyone they don't want anyone apart from the family to be close to them they don't want that they don't feel that so white men likes privacy it's so important to them compared to us black people as long as you are helping you will sacrifice your privacy but white people cannot sacrifice their privacy for only a friend <laughs> that's not possible guys that's not possible and it's their culture guys we can't hate them for that it's their culture it's the way they grew up it's the way they do things reason number four to why most people in the diaspora cannot invite you to live with them for more than a month is trust issues this friend of yours can invite you to europe or to australia or to america <laughs> To live with them but most people guys you might help them and in the end when they finish their studies they disappear i talked to someone who lives in uk and this person told me that if that happens you invite someone and then disappears if you have your permanent residence permit then they are going to take it away from you you will lose it just because of that friend that disappeared and sometimes you can't trust friends <laughs> it's so hard to trust friends so trust issue can be a problem or if someone is married can even be scared when she goes to work you remain at home maybe with a husband <laughs> some people are husband snatchers <laughs> so this person will be scared for that trust issues and not only that guys every family has got their own i don't know how i can call this the way you do things as a family what you eat your programs you know so some people you might be helping them but it becomes so hard for them to adjust this person was in africa thought that maybe life in europe is good people eat like very very good so sometimes maybe things are hard <laughs> you just decide to eat only fruits and sleep with this person eat fruit and sleep that is when they'll start talking bad about you talking to people in africa saying that she is poor she's living a poor life she was faking whereby you are trying to help her first issue can be another reason to why most people in the diaspora cannot invite you to stay with them for more than a month reason number five to why most people in the diaspora will not invite you to live with them for more than a month <laughs> is that getting to europe is hard <laughs> you can even have a sister who is there wants to come to europe or wants to come to australia or america but getting in is so difficult there is a lot of challenges <laughs> before you get that visa and here i imagine you want to come as a tourist 
you won't come here as a tourist and start working <laughs> example in italy you'll never work under tourist visa it will never happen and most tourist visa time visa period they cannot give you three months at once they're going to give you one month if you're so lucky too so forget about coming as a tourist for three months here or for six months it's going to be very difficult and due to those challenges people don't want to go those hectic processes just for a friend they cannot go through all that it's so complicated it's so complicated sometimes so you who are in africa maybe you have found a man now we are talking of a man <laughs> not even a friend a man and wants to invite you has sent you the invitation documents then you should be thankful because it's not easy one time i was going for jogging and when i was coming back i met this man <laughs> he's italian then he asked me are you single i was like no i'm not single i'm married oh for me i'm a widower i'm looking for someone to help me at home for cleaning and all that uh so if you're married it is going to be very hard for you to work for me because you clean your own house <laughs> i told him yes you are right he asked me do you have any friends around who can help me i told him no for now no i don't know but i'll think about it so i went home and the next time when i met him i was like now i'm going to propose to him about you know <laughs> my african friends who always tell me connect me connect to me so i was like this can be a, a very good chance to connect this guy because he even told me are you single <laughs> so when i saw him I was like hey uh, did you find anyone for me a very beautiful black lady like you who lives here i was like no here no one all of them have their husbands and they work <laughs> but i have friends in africa if you want i can connect you with one <laughs> so i was like yes one friend helped so do you know what this italian man told me he was like no it's so complicated no no inviting someone no 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 no. i don't want to go those processes no i want someone who is here for a black beautiful young lady like you who lives here not from africa so you can see it's not easy <laughs> the process is so hectic and what i am advising you if you really want to come and study maybe in europe or america <laughs> australia you need to prepare yourself very well have money in the bank and and if you really want to stay at your friend's place if they have one empty room then you should make sure that you pay that friend but you know small money not so much but so that you can you know decrease the burden of staying with you buying for you food <laughs> you stay for free in their house it becomes too much for that family. some people don't want intruders because you are a stranger <laughs> to the other person <laughs> they consider you as an intruder <laughs> so <laughs> this friend of yours might have an empty room but she might not be able to take you because of the other half <laughs> so guys this is the last category which is the rich class this class can invite you because they have got a lot of rooms in their house so you have your own space there is no problem for privacy and they have got maybe farms they have food so they can take care of you and some people like i have a friend they have even solar system so they don't pay gas they don't pay um electricity whereby the bills goes down so this kind of a family can really take you and stay with you for three months or six months and when i talked to this friend of mine who is in this class told me yes i can but this friend must be a very close close friend <laughs> i 
and a serious one who really wants to come and study not someone who just want to come and just stay like this <laughs> or some people just want to come and make prostitution she told me that one i cannot help but if someone is coming to study and is my close close friend that i consider as a sister or as a brother i'm going to help because she has got seven bedrooms in the house a lot of bathrooms she has got a lot of garden whereby they grow different things fruits salads everything guys tomatoes <laughs> so for grocery shopping they, they don't spend a lot or some other families they're just rich they have money to spend on gas on everything they pay bills there is no problem you know money is there <laughs> this family will invite you only if the husband again or if the wife of your friend has got a good heart because some people are rich some people have got bigger houses but their hearts <laughs> there are people who cannot help even if they have it they can't help they don't want to help <laughs> and your friend wants to help but if the wife or the husband doesn't this friend cannot invite you she has begged or he has begged and begged and begged and the only period of time this person has accepted is only a month <laughs> they cannot stay with you for that long because this man doesn't want to help he doesn't care but he has everything he has got money he has the house <laughs> he can pay for your insurance if anything happens you know in case of <laughs> you can they can be able to transport you they have money they will help if the other person has got a good heart but if your friend is from a normal family guys a normal normal family <laughs> living a normal life one month is very enough and this friend of yours is so so generous very generous guys like i have said everything that i told you the bills and all that but she is ready to pay for those bills for a month then she is a good friend <laughs> a very very good friend because life isn't easy guys it's not that people are poor people are living a very bad life no they are sweating to achieve it <laughs> so that is why for them to spend they are really careful <laughs> if they spend and something comes in <laughs> then that's another story but spending without something coming in mm -mm it's tough it's a burden so guys those are the reasons that i was able to get from the research i did of why people in the diaspora cannot invite you more than a month but again i insist guys if you're someone living in the diaspora you are watching this video please i beg you <laughs> Help me write in the comments below the other reasons that I forgot to mention. It will help a sister, a brother back there in Africa. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really appreciate much. God bless you for your time. I know sometimes my videos can be very, very long, but I always try to make sure I take my time so that you can understand what I am trying to tell you so that you can get something out of it so thank you again and please if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good 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 <laughs> if you haven't subscribed please subscribe <laughs> until next video I love you so much you're always here in my heart